Hello and welcome to X Class. What does X Class stand for? Probably extremely filthy driving. Just just very, very filthy stuff. This is actually my I, I think it's my very first venture into X Class. I don't think I've done it before. I don't remember doing it. And well, it, we've made it to turn two and I'm I'm already off. Now this is the Ferrari 641 bit of a beastly car and well I'm just going to give it my best shot really because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing and um, to, to learn how to embrace the noob one must become the noob and well I am definitely the noob in X class I have no idea what the hell I'm doing luckily um, perhaps I've got that braking line on so I actually know what the hell I'm doing because look at these, look at these reaction times going into here. Look at that guy; it just goes flying up the inside. Doesn't actually hit anyone. But the brake, the the braking on these cars is absolutely ridiculous. It is, it's just staggering how late you can brake into the corners, and the, the reaction time you need to be successful, or or to simply just not crash into people, is well about 0 0.0001 of a second. And um, that's pretty much about as close as I can get. So. If you have reaction times that quick, then you're probably going to do well. If you don't, then you probably won't. So I'm going to go up the inside of this guy. Yas Marina. Wow. Um, not the easiest track to start my X-Class career on, especially with all these curbs. And I don't have traction control on. I think it's probably quicker in this class. Uh, the higher classes tend to um, favour traction control on. So I am being an absolute madman, or probably just committing fours of suicide by turning traction control off. But anyway, there we go, look on the exit, just uh, getting a bit of wheel spin, and that's gonna really ha uh, harm my chances of, well, I, I'm gonna, I was gonna say it's gonna harm my chances of doing well, but just just my ability is really gonna harm my my, my chances here. Um, so the amount of driving I've done in these cars is, is absolutely minimal. I try, I've always tried to avoid it wherever possible, that includes P-Class as well. Just, it's just above my forte, which is more A and S class. Anyway, this guy's going to come flying up the inside. I'm going to go for a cutback. He goes for a nice, uh, nice little extend there on the exit of the hairpin. Up the first of two long back straights. Tuck into slipstream, come back out. It's neck and neck. We've probably got the same tune. In fact, well, I don't have a tune. I've just got the base car here. Into the chicane. A little bit uh, sideways over the kerb. Not the best run through there, really. Uh, the cars feel so clumsy. At, at slow speeds, um, you don't have the downforce that you do at high speeds, so they do feel a little bit clumsy to me. Um, but uh, then again, that's probably the way I'm driving them. This guy's going to go really deep. 90 degree cut back, rejoin. Nice stuff, mate. Just about saw it coming. Go back through into ninth place. I can see that proximity arrow go flying white to orange, and that's always a scary moment, especially in this class with the, the rate of knots that these cars come flying at you. Into this one, oh, he's just gonna come flying up the inside. It's, it's, it's not very nice at all, that move. I really rate that, probably about two out of 10. He did get through, but it was a very heavy handed. We're gonna try and do something about that. We've got two more laps left to go. Look at that filthy extend. That is why this is called extremely filthy. Um, that, that is what X class is short for. Okay, we crossed the line then. Two more laps left to go. Four laps around Yas Marina. God, never really wanted to do that in my life. But it turns out I have to. Now coming through turn two, fly through there. He's gone way too deep. He's going to come back onto the track, go across. And I'm back up into eighth. I guess uh, I've gained another place somewhere. So into the chicane. And again, it just feels like an absolute atrocity through here. Um, I am really not doing um, these cars any justice at all. I think I do need to get a tune, which I will get for the next race, because this is absolutely shocking. I'm like 8,000 or 6,000 feet behind first, which is just an absolute joke. Into the chicane, hitting the break point there quite nicely. I think I need to... Oh my god, he's just got absolutely wrecked. I just heard that car come flying across. Well, he's dead. Um, but then as we move to the end of lap three... They're actually caught up. That's how slow I am. Or well, one, one of the guys is caught up. So he's going to try and get past me, no doubt. Into the first corner. 
hitting the apex nicely, but then he's just going to go into the back of me. And, well, I've actually killed him there. So that's going to buy me some time. Can I get to the end of the race and keep 8th place? Here we are, two corners left to go. Getting a bit more pushy on the boundaries here. And I'm going to come through the final turn. The guy did actually catch up about 1,000 feet. And we're going to cross the line in 8th place. So I guess that's totally okay for my first race ever in X class. But uh, we're going to try and do better here. We've got a tune and uh, we have a little bit of experience, about six minutes worth around Yas Marina. So let's see if we can carry that forward into Laguna Seca, into the first turn, into the back of an IndyCar twice, a little bit naughty. But then, oh my God, I just get totally pulverized from behind. This IndyCar's just gonna, <laughs> it's just gonna reverse back onto the track, as you do. You see that most times in IndyCar, actually, cars reversing back onto the track. Lovely stuff from him. I don't even know they have a reverse gear. Anyway, Lotus E23 a bit wide, up to 12th place. This guy's just going to... Well, I don't even know what he's doing. I'm going to just go flying past him. He's going very slow on the apex. Up into 11th, and then... You see the field spread. The field spread in X-Class is absolutely ridiculous. Because of how fast the cars are, one mistake you make opens up about a 2,000 mile gap. Oh my god, those two guys have absolutely annihilated each other. And that's two positions for free. Thank you so much, guys. Into the corkscrew. Let's see how this car handles this. And, well, I've just completely killed that guy. I'm just going to have to wait at the side here. Go from 8th. Uh, there he is. Uh, go back down into 11th. So we've got it all to do again. As I was saying, the field spread is massive. So you make one mistake. People are just going to open up massive gaps on you. So you can't really afford... To make too many mistakes you really do need to keep the momentum in these cars through the fast corners it really does feel quite good actually especially for this last sector not the last corner the two corners before that do feel quite nice in these high downforce cars so into the top 10 it's a five lapper loaded up the inside kind of have to turn away there just give him room don't really want to make contact looking for a way pass on the exit he's going to go defensive i'm going to take the normal racing line go for a cut back is it on I do have a run, but I'm not really going to risk going up the inside there. Make contact into the back of him, just like on lap number one. But we are through just about okay. Now, oh my god. <laughs> it's another double wipeout. And then this guy's going to come across. Oh, we're almost into the wall. Just about to keep it on. I'm just going to cut across. Look how close this is. This is ridiculous. That that was too close to call. And, uh, well, that guy's actually killed himself as well. So I've gained three positions there. Nice stuff. Nice cut from the guy ahead there, but you know, with, with the reaction times needing to be the way they are, I kind of don't. I don't blame people really for cutting the corners because it's so easy. You just have to turn in barely any sooner than you normally would, and then you're cutting the corner, almost to the back of the Indy car. We've got two cars ahead of us here, and guess what? That would make it sixth place if I can get past uh, both of them. Over the line we go. Lap number three, past the Indy car, up into seventh into the first turn, hooking up with the apex quite nicely actually. And the second one too, decent stuff. Trash control off is not really hampering me too much. For any of you x cast pros, do let me know if it's better with TTS on or off. Especially, well, it probably depends on the car. This guy's just killed himself up into sixth place. Oh yeah, baby, it looks like it is on. And this is a Super GT video, of course, because it is uh, a sixth place there. But we do have two laps left to go. So things could change, and they may well do here, as this guy is just going to get wiped out by a back marker. I think I avoided him there by about two centimetres, so very close stuff. Cutting it very fine. The, the margins in this class are very, very fine. Into the last, into the first turn, sorry. This is the last lap, and we have a back marker, and that's what I mean. The field spread is massive, but you actually lap people in a five-minute race. That is how ridiculous it is. This IndyCar is just going to turn across. Thank you very much for that. I was up into fourth there for a, uh, for a moment. And they're going to lose that position back down to fifth. But we do have a race on here to the end of the race. 14th place guy is not having it. Look at that. He's just going to wipe him out. It's another double wipeout. Thank you for the position though, mate. I'd rather you didn't wipe out my competitors though. And then, oh my god, I've just turned in a little bit too early. Clattered into the inside tyre wall. That's what I mean. The margins are so fine. Someone's followed me off. I've gone down into seventh. And 8th place is right on me here in the IndyCar into the corkscrew, cutting that like an absolute legend. And then through the chicane, um, actually, yeah, not too bad. I could do better. This corner, oh my god, that feels so good when you get that right. I've absolutely nailed it. And look at this. 
That is absolute precision if I ever saw it. Into the final turn, one more left to go. Oh, and he's off. He's off ahead. And I've got to go through into Sif place and it's just that lovely moment when you finish where you're meant to do I wanna know what love is. it is destiny guys it's destiny but there we go that's the end of the video my first venture in, into x class plenty of people requesting this one because i well i've never done it and i guess you just want to see how how good or in this case bad i am but there you go i do hope you enjoyed it guys do subscribe for more and I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. And I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.